So here's five bowls of ramen I had in Tokyo that only required a 10 minute queue or less. And now here's some Hakata Tonkotsu ramen from Ichiran. And while it's a decent bowl, people will regularly spend egregious amounts of their precious Japan travel time to try it, despite Ichiran being one of the most widespread chains in Japan. But with multiple thousands of delicious and unique ramen restaurants in Tokyo alone, here's a quick list of five that you can check out if you're less keen on queuing and more open to some adventure. First off, Here's another option if you're specifically looking for Hakata tonkotsu style ramen. Apparently, Hakata Tenjin has been serving authentic Hakata style ramen in Shinjuku since 1993. With this location being less than 10 minutes from Shinjuku Station, it's a convenient, time-tested and delicious choice to experience the rich, creamy and classic take on ramen. Next we have Afuri, an establishment that's become quite popular in its own right. Though they have a variety of choices available, they are well known for their signature yuzu ramen. Here, I've opted for the tsukumen, or dipping noodle variation. Bright, flavorful, and even refreshing, this is one of my go-tos when showing around friends who are new to Japan. The offerings here remain accessible to many palates, but still boast their own unique twist. So this one is a bit of a mouthful. Wagyu beef cheese chicken paitan ramen with white truffle aroma. Despite the mildly over the top description, this has been one of my favorite truffle flavored meals thus far. And sometimes I feel places will haphazardly add truffle to a dish as a bit of a gimmick. But not here, this ramen genuinely possesses a deep truffle aroma and flavor that blends perfectly with the creamy richness of the broth. To top it off, this spot is only six minutes from the famous Shibuya station, making it a convenient and delicious stop that can easily be worked into your Tokyo itinerary. But now let's zip over to the other side of Tokyo for this spot that specializes in ramen from the Fukushima region of Japan. Right in the frequently visited Asakusa area of Tokyo, this gem serves many delights, including this special shio or salt-based ramen. But it's not just salt. The broth is a combination of local aizu, salt, chicken, and six different kinds of shellfish. This bowl is a fantastic choice when looking for a ramen that's less heavy and rich as your typical tonkotsus, but still packed with layers of flavor, complexity, and nuance. And last on this list for now, we have a bit of a wild card. This is Rokurinsha, one of the most popular and shops in Tokyo, with one convenient location being right under Tokyo Station. While this place deserves its own video, this spot can be summarized using their very own words, rough, rugged dipping noodles. While the noodle texture is robust, chewy, and comes in dizzying portion sizes, the sumptuous broth is also a star, claiming to simmer a large combination of ingredients such as pork bones, chicken bones, mackerel, and bonito to flavor perfection. This meal deserves to be a strong, affordable, and addicting addition to your ramen options in Tokyo. And well, that wraps it up for now. Of course, with many thousands of unique ramen shops in Tokyo alone, this is hardly scratching the surface of the countless wonders that could be right around the block. There's bound to be something for everyone. As always, I'll be sure to report back as I stumble on new gems. Until next time, cheers.